That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a question and it was talking about for those on the path, and of course this is a path, it's a journey. You know, it's a natural progression that doesn't always seem straight, but it, it can be like steps, you know, and sometimes you can take steps back, you know, back and forth. But there was a question about losing friends and family or just having people who don't understand you when you're on the path, when you're on the journey, when you're air feasting or fasting or doing different things that for some seems invalidating or seems like far out. So what experience do you have when it comes to friends and family not understanding your path, not understanding your journey and what you're doing? I would say that I'm really blessed, you know, because even though some of my family does not understand, they still support me. And that's really something, because like you said, it's, it's very hard to grasp and people get very concerned. And so they have to have faith in you, that you know what you're doing. You know, like saying that I feel better in this lifestyle. They have to trust that I, what I'm saying is true. And I'm not just saying it. You know, so I think I'm blessed that I had a couple of family members that even though they didn't fully understand, they at least had some awareness of this lifestyle. And so it wasn't so far-fetched. It kind of made sense to them, I would say, a little bit enough to... They just love me. And they support me. <laughs> but for those that do not understand... Was there a question? Yeah. For those who don't understand, how do you deal with that? Or how do you come to terms with the people who don't? You have to not care what they think. If you care what they think, it's gonna like, maybe cause you to like alter your course. You have to just not care what they think and listen to your own inner self, your own guidance, your own body. They're not in your body. They're a different being than you are. They have a different mind and a le different level of consciousness understanding than you have. So what makes sense for you might not make sense for them ever. So you cannot worry you can't worry about what they think at all. You have to just do you. Yeah. yeah, there were times when I can recall, you know, being around folks, being around friends, and I just remember them asking me, you know, when we would go to different venues or different places, like, hey, what do you want to, what do you want to eat? Or, hey, you want to go grab a bite? Or, hey, you want to go get something real quick? And whenever I would say, no, you know, I'm good, they would think that something was wrong. You know, I remember having people cooking food in front of me, like cooking eggs and stuff on the stove or something. And when I'd be at a friend's house, and they'd have this guilty feeling like, I don't want to eat around you if you're not eating. Like, I feel so terrible. Are you sure? You know, are you sure you, you can't eat? Are you, you really can't eat? And go ahead. Yeah. Where does that stem from? Right. Where does that even stem from? Somebody else who's just not hungry or just just doesn't want to eat in that moment. Why why would that instill guilt in you by somebody else's choices? This is deep within humanity. Oh else where would that stem from? You know? Yeah. Yeah. These are the questions. You know, where where did I need answers? Yeah. <laughs> Like when did it start coming in, mm -hmm. you know? Because when I think, and I'm just imagining here because, you know, using your imagination, of course we were taught so many things in school about history and this and that. But if I can imagine, you know, ancestors in a pale, Paleolithic era migrating from place to place in a time period where there were no refrigerators, there were no freezers, there were no pantries, there were no grocery stores, there were no things to like, you know, shelve and put all these things and, you know, it wasn't like, like, but still there was an abundance, you know, nature always provides, but being able to move from place to place, I'm sure that we were able to thrive. 
without eating every single day or every single moment, you know, at least not eating three times a day plus snacks, you know, plus snacks. Mm -hmm. So to that level of consumption, that window of consumption, when did we get to the point where we challenge or we question somebody who's not in you know, today's times acting in those Today's ways. times aren't working. Versions of vegetarians and liquids and you know fruits to grass. We've like it's just the notion I think that we think we, we need this, but we don't. Like you said, consumption. Consumption comes from a place of lack. Like you want to consume because you're lacking, but when you understand that you are not lacking anything, there's no need for consumption. When you have friends and family that don't always necessarily understand what you're doing, understand what you're going through, it's like for them, they have fear surrounding the zone of the unknown. Be able to have compassion, you know, understand that we're each on our own journeys, we're each on our own path. And if they can have compassion and empathy, you, know, you can both come to an, a mutual understanding of each other and not judge each other. Because when that judgment comes in, that's when things get messed like with that you can go a long way like you always say all that remains is love yeah there shouldn't be any judgment uh, where everybody and anybody is at in their journey um, we are all individual beings we're not all on the same level like we incarnate first of all our soul is ready at a certain level of evolution. So when our soul incarnates to this body in this time, that's why we have to figure out what works best for our own individual soul, depending on which level of evolution we are at. And we're all trying to get to the same goal of ascending higher, of reaching higher states of reality, which is just um, experiencing a more high vibratory, high vibratory more enjoyable, bliss state of being instead of being in fear, guilt, shame, and lower vibrational states of being. So we all have this capability, even no matter what level you're at, to pull yourself up out of those lower states. And that's where it all starts, is raising your vibration. And whatever you do for your state, you know, whatever you do for your vibration, automatically you're helping to change those around you, you're influencing, you're impacting the people that interact with the people that talk with you and even if they don't right off the bat have questions the more that they see you shining the more that they see you glowing the more they see that inner knowing they're going to come around you know eventually they're going to come around and ask like what's going on especially when they might be thinking to themselves there's something more but like you always said there's, there's so many levels there's so many different degrees that's boggling your mind like how is how can they do this like how is this possible just raise your vibration you know because it doesn't even matter it does matter because mind body spirit you have to cleanse and clean the body but you're not going to be able to do that if your mind is, is is in the way so first you have to get your mind right you know and if you feel comfortable eating a certain way and living a certain lifestyle and that makes you feel good and at peace then follow that in that time but i would say just continuously work on being healthier and cleaner yeah and it's gonna show from here yeah. on through you know i've had friends that you know we, we fell out of touch we fell out of contact but being able to say you know what it's okay because your vibration, mm -hmm. like they say, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah. You're going to start attracting people that are on your level or that are into the same things that you're into. As long as you're doing like Janet is talking about, staying true to you, it's 
going to be a gravitational pull that brings things into your field, brings events, brings situations, brings relations, brings all sorts of things. So don't be afraid if you feel like you're alone right now. You won't be alone for long, and you're really never alone. Mm. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Alone is all one. I love that. I love that. We're all one. We're never alone. It is to feel like that because it's the physical. The physical of like the physicality messes up our minds. Like it's an illusion. Just because I don't have someone here in the physical or on the phone or like in my life doesn't mean that they are all around us, you know? And if you're alone for a while, that's actually a good thing because you're shedding away old energies, old connections that are no longer benefiting you. And you have to just be okay and accepting that it's for your highest good and you might be lonely and sad in that moment, but as soon as you shed those, if you hold on to those people and those things, it's just prolonging you know, it's it's gonna hold you back. Mm. Mm. So it's a good thing that if, even if they've been amazing people in your life, they've been good friends, it's just everything is vibration. If you're working on your vibration, then it's naturally gonna just, and it's not that you're gonna separate and be away from everybody. You're gonna separate from those no longer serving you or no longer in your path of your highest good and then like you said you're gonna attract everyone who is and that's when things get so exciting because you no longer feel alone because you have people all over the world that understand you that get you that maybe you haven't been understood since you since for since forever as long as you've been alive on this plane you've never been understood you feel like nobody can understand you that <laughs> yeah but that's because I don't know, it's just, we have to work on ourselves, like, it's all in the healing journey, you know, shedding away old energies, not only, like, things we're consuming, but friends and people around us, it's all for the, for the, the benefit, and in that moment, it could seem like it's not, like, oh my gosh, like, I'm losing all my friends, or why is this person not talking to me anymore, or why, why do I feel like this person doesn't make me feel so good anymore when I'm hanging around them? Like, you just have to let it go. You really do. So being able to not continue to hold on to the things that hold us back. Focus on you and the rest of the world will adjust. <laughs> Much love. <laughs>